tragedies forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities or Mother Nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of
never forget kids like Emily or Nelly. <laughs> so far away, there lived a frog who was sad and neglected. Sad and neglected. There you go. Frog was sad and neglected. <laughs> frog was sad because he wanted to sing. Oh, he wanted to sing. He tried and tried, but all that came out was croaking. His friends made fun of him and neglected him. Yeah. 
till quarter three. Would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm sixty-four?
just songs of the turn of the century. We are barbershopping now the contemporary songs of just a few years ago, the 60s, songs from the turtles, songs from the, uh, just a few years ago. <laughs> the turtles, the eagles. Well, you know, normally we don't ask our audience to sing along because it throws the baritones off. <laughs> but we're going to make an exception on this next song because what salute to the 60s would be complete without a selection of songs from the Beach Boys. <laughs>
works. Maybe. We'll see how long it lasts. Otherwise, I'll just yell at you guys some more. All right, so our next act, I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm using another handy-dandy piece of technology to make sure I don't get it wrong. Um, so our next performer has made a living with his magic, juggling, and comedy for 30 years. He's performed in such countries as Japan, Tahiti, Italy, France, and Holland. He's a familiar and welcome sight at many of the exclusive parties and corporate events here in Santa Barbara. He was voted Strolling Magician of the Year at the world-famous Hollywood Magic Castle. He's also been honored for his creativity in magic. In addition to performing for A-list celebrities and Fortune 500 companies, he's been the house magician at the Palace Grill in Santa Barbara on Friday nights for the last 18 years. He has also been doing weekly summer shows at the Al Asal Guest House in, or guest ranch in Solvang for the same amount of time. There's definitely a reason they have kept him around for so long. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to say anything more about him. He will prove himself to you. The amazing magician, Mark Collier. Thank you very much. Have you enjoyed the show so far? That's going to stop right now. I'm not going to sing, thank God. Uh, let's start off, let's do some magic. Let's see, uh, somebody have a quarter I can borrow, 25 cents. 25 cent piece. You have one, sir, you're just scratching. Um, <laughs> you, have, you have a quarter? Okay, wait, actually I have a pen here, hold on. That'd be great, sir. So tell you what, before I even take it, just write, your, write something on there in the unlikely event you see it again. <laughs> you can just put your initial or whatever you want. Put some on the other side too. You can tell it apart from either side. And thank you very much. Okay. I have a quarter from a complete stranger. You're complete, right? <laughs> we have a signed quarter. And you can check that can out. It's just a regular can of soda, right? All right? This is really cool. Watch this. One, two. Yeah, it's not open. It's not stuck to the bottom. If you listen. Let's see here. What did you write on the quarter? I didn't even look. 
RF? Okay. Thought I'd try and get it out of there quickly before the cookies. <laughs> Sorry, I don't show up in photographs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see myself in the mirror. I don't know what's up with that. See the dents in the can? Watch this. Isn't that cool? It's almost, it's almost as if.
How are we doing? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> are you enjoying yourselves? What's your name? Barbara. Barbara. How are you, Barbara? My name's Mark. I want you to pick a car, Barbara. Okay, you want this one? This one? Yeah, that is Barbara. <laughs> I've already seen this trick. <laughs> All right, Barbara, here. I want you to um, I want you to write your name on there. Okay, and uh, <laughs> that way if you see it again, you don't have a quarter. <laughs> very, very good. Thank you very much, Barbara. Okay, do you play cards, Barbara? Perfect. Do you have any money? <laughs> How you doing, sir? <laughs> do you play cards? That's Barbara's card. I want you to say stop. Do you know how to shuffle? Don't shuffle, just mix them up. All right? Just mix them up. That'd be fine. All right. We'll do something with this guy. <laughs> okay. Um, no, mix those up. That'll be fine. I'll do something real quick with here. Uh, this deck is missing one card. I've got the feeling this lady right here can guess which card is missing. Just take a guess. No? Okay, you. I don't care. This lady right here, right me. The King of Hearts is missing, yes. I keep the King of Hearts in this pocket right here. <laughs> I'm also missing this pocket right here. It's a wardrobe malfunction. I have a pocket over here, but that doesn't count because I really put it in this one. Okay, uh, you look like a person. Um, <laughs> I'd like you to name a card. Um, ace of spades. The ace of spades, okay. Everybody picks the ace of spades, it seems. Sometimes it seems like everyone picks the ace of spades. Here, pick a card. Just take one out and show everybody. It seems like everybody picks the ace of spades. Okay, uh, keep picking those cards. Here's some cards. Keep picking cards. Okay, name a card. The two of clubs. I can find the two of clubs with one hand behind my back. Not even looking. One hand behind my back. <laughs> yeah, that works? Okay, um, all right, let's try something else here. Uh, how about, let's see, um, no, they're not in on it. Did you think of them? Oh, well, I told them to. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. This lady right here, I want you to think of a card. Don't say it out loud, just think of it. You got it? Got it. I know what it is. What's your name? Dawn. Dawn, I know what card you're thinking of. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> you wanna do it again? <laughs> What was it? I knew it. 
I knew it the whole time, and I can prove it. And if I can't prove it, you get the money. All of it. <laughs> I'm not worried, because I have one card in my wallet. Okay, can you guess what card I have in my wallet? That's a business card. Okay, you got a network. <laughs> dollars in a business card, but I'm not worried, because on the back of the business card, I wrote a prediction. Now, okay, if the prediction is correct, I keep the money, and if it's not correct, you get the money. Is that fair? Say that's fair. That's fair. Say that's really fair. <laughs> Say that's really, really fair. <laughs> okay, I, I predicted, and I quote, I owe you three dollars. <laughs> that's my prediction. And that K is correct. <laughs> so I keep the money. <laughs> and that's really fair. Your words, K, your words. <laughs> but I did know that you're going to say the, uh, what was it? <laughs> the three of diamonds? Really? Three. Three of diamonds. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that trick finally worked. <laughs> pick a card. How can I know in advance that you're gonna pick the three of diamonds? Oh my god. <laughs> How can I know that? <laughs> three of diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good. That's a full deck of cards right there, okay? One, two. Okay, and Barbara, I have not forgotten about your car. Please calm down. <laughs> Just relax. I'm going to get to that, okay? Just can I get you a cup of decaf? <laughs> okay, let's do something else. Um, how about uh, this guy right here? Will you help me? Great. Come on out. What's your name? Howard. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stage. Come right over here if you would. Just stand right there. It's right here. Right here would be perfect. Right there. Right here, next to the star. Yeah, right next to the star. What do you mean, what's the star? Me, Howard. <laughs> Hold out your hands, Howard. Turn around. Yeah, just like this. Catch that. Two hands. Put it on your head. <laughs> just cast it out, put it on your head. That's all you have to do. That's pretty much the whole trick right there. Just cast it out. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Just do that. <laughs> I think Howard's got the right idea. Hold on.
Now, whenever I want to get inspired to create art, I like to first have a little chat with my muse. <laughs> Guess what kind of ball? <laughs> you guys don't seem very impressed. Do you think I should stick to magic?
Jeff, you'll pee? <laughs> Jeff, you'll pee? Nah. Take your hands out of your pockets. <laughs> That means the torch. You pick up that bowling ball, verify. Is that a real bowling ball? Yes, it is. So right on there, San Marcos Lane. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it out there with one hand. One hand. And this is a real machete, right? He's going to trust you like good. <laughs> All right, you can go back. Thank you. <clears throat> I can't light the torch. Patrick, thank you very much. Good over, Patrick. I've been in this town a long time, and the fire marshal knows me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the torch in here, sorry. But it's even actually more dangerous if I don't light the torch. Because now, I can't sterilize the machine. <laughs> this way, if I cut off my hand, I could get infected. <laughs> <laughs> this is dangerous, though, because if I fell, I can land on the torch and get a smudge. <laughs> I can land on the machete. The bowling ball can land on me. So if I start to lose my balance, I'm going to throw these things as far from me as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see even more danger? <laughs> Patrick, you want to see even more danger? <laughs> Sit right here. <laughs> Patrick, that's just an IQ test. <laughs> a thunderous round of applause. If, on the other hand, well, if I can't do it, there's only going to be one other hand. <laughs> Just dial 911. Pat Patrick's going, okay, what's the number? It's <laughs> <laughs> called 411 and ass. <laughs> you guys ready for this? that we have coming on, performing act, plural, not singular, sorry. Um, they, they really are an incredible hidden gem here in Santa Barbara. They've been together for about three years now and have been performing 
in Santa Barbara, and at the end of this year, they will officially be a chartered chorus with Sweet Adelines, which is a big deal. Very big deal, yeah. They're, they're wonderful, they're few, but their sound is mighty. They are women who strive to be different, who are all about seizing the music and seizing the day, so please welcome Carpe Diem.
British rock was storming the United States. There was a hot new beat dancing its way up from Brazil, working its way into our hearts and our loins. <laughs> this is our version of the signature song that defined Bossa Nova. a day, a week, a month, or even a year. We wouldn't do it in cup, we wouldn't count cups of coffee. We would measure our lives with our friends, our love of music, and love. friend, Phileas Frog, he wasn't feeling quite so sad nor neglected because he had made friends with the magician. And he had high hopes of singing all four parts in a barbershop quartet. Let's see what happens. So, Mark. Yes. Phil. <laughs> you got it right. I saw your act before, and I gotta tell you that I think you are an excellent magician. 
I know. <laughs> I, I mean, thank you. <laughs> I mean, you thank know, you. But, but you, you must, must be a very powerful sorcerer. I suppose. Can you fly? No, because I'd be a flying sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but, but yeah, but laugh you at your own jokes, why don't you? I, uh, that was not my joke. <laughs> And neither is this one. What are you okay. wearing? I, this, this old, oh, this old thing. This is velvet. That's velvet. Are you sure? I'm, of course, I'm sure. I'm wearing it because now it's felt. <laughs> okay, quit messing around. You said, you said, you said I you could make it. me into a quartet. Oh, that's Your right. Magic could make me into a quartet, and okay. I am ready to be in a quartet. In fact, I could, if I was a quartet, I would name myself. The Velvet Frog. Really? Frogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, quartet. so you want, okay, I'm gonna turn you into I a quartet. Do. Yeah. All right, we can do yeah. that. Okay. All right, um, step to the center, yes, spin sir. around three times. Yes. Have you ever done this before? Uh, yeah, but I don't like to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, one more time. One, uh, then, three uh, times. Yeah, then just back, back up right through the oh, curtain, just like oh, that. Just okay. back up. Okay. Back up, yes. Okay. Is this gonna hurt? You might feel a little pinch. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Velvet Frogs. Take your pick. <laughs> oh, 
We'd like to dedicate this next song to a young lady who delivers newspapers. It's entitled, Does Your Mother Know Your Route? Cecilia. <laughs> my Bible and I found that there are some firsts in the Bible that kind of surprised me. Firsts? First, yes, like the first mention of baseball is in the Bible. In the beginning. <laughs> also the first mention of tennis is in the Bible. Joseph served in Pharaoh's court. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing down there? I'm following him. There are a couple of more firsts I noticed in the Bible. The first mention of an automobile is in the Bible. They all lived in one accord. <laughs> and, and the first mention of a motorcycle is in the Bible. Joseph's triumph was heard oh. throughout <laughs> the land. Uh, ladies, well, and gentlemen, you might want to take out a hanky or a napkin. This is the saddest song that we know. 
note that I almost hit uh, was given to me by my dad and now I know why because he wanted to get rid of it and it's the uh, same note as in this next song too it's a message song made famous by Bing Crosby so pay attention to the message do we hear it said early in the morning from our little sleepy head now, do I gotta go to school today well yes you do Billy because if you don't you'll grow up to be just like a mule is an animal A fish is an animal that swims in the brook. He can't write his name or read a book. To fool the people is his only thought. Although he's slippery, he still gets caught. And so if that sort of thing is what you wish, you could grow up to be a fish. Would you like to swing on a star? <laughs> Goat is an animal with whiskery chin. You can't keep him out or keep him in. He eats through fences, everything in sight. Even Granny's undies and my brand new kite. Now, if you just think that reading is a joke, you may grow up to be a goat. Thanks a lot. A pig is an animal with doid on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. He has no manners when he eats his food. He's fat and stupid and extremely rude. So if you don't give a feather or a pig, you might grow up to be a frog. The monkeys aren't in the
Christmas song, don't you? Au contraire, that's a song about Sweet Adeline. You know who Sweet Adelines are. They're the ladies that get to sing, to four-part harmony and sing. Well, they sound terrific, and they have huge conventions where thousands of ladies get together and sing, and it's wonderful. But they have a problem. When they take a break, all the ladies are lined up to get in the ladies' room. And the men's rooms are practically empty, so they said, why don't we change the men's room to ladies' room, just for the convention? Sounds like a good idea, right? Here's the rest of the story. <laughs> the restroom door said, gentlemen, so I went right inside. I took two steps and realized I'd been taken for a ride. I heard high voices joined and found the place was occupied by two nuns, three old ladies, and a nurse. What could be worse than two nuns, three old ladies, and a nurse? The restroom door said, gentlemen, it must have been a gag. As soon as I walked in there, I ran into some old hag. She sprayed me with a can of mace and zapped me with her bag. I could tell this just wouldn't be my day. What can I say? This just wasn't turning out to be my day. The restroom door said, gentlemen, and I would like to find the absent-minded Adeline who forgot to switch the sign. Now I've got two black eyes and one big bruise on my behind. I don't think that those ladies were too kind. Boy, oh boy, now I cannot sit in comfort. And because I just found out we're going to be back here for the Christmas show. Right. We're going to be on the Christmas show right here. How did you find that out? Well, I heard the show chairman say that it would be a cold day when they have these guys back. But now we come to the song that you've been waiting for, our last one. <laughs> this is one that we had the privilege of singing before President Obama was elected. Yeah. <laughs> This is one that was actually made popular by Bridget Bardot's brother, the famous Gylum Bardot. <laughs> it's a beautiful military ballad entitled, She Was Wonderful to the Regiment, But Rotten to the Core. <laughs> oh, sad.
probably noticed they had medals around their neck. Those were not just for show to be fancy jewelry. Um, they actually won those at the international contest for the senior quartets and are the current third place international senior quartet winners. Very big deal. Very big deal. So along with quartets that go and compete, the chorus also gets to go and compete. So what they'd like to do now is they'd like to give you a sample of their um, competition songs. So what we need to do is, if you will, please, pretend with me that we are 3,000 ravenous barbershop fans that have come to the contest to watch our favorite chorus compete. And obviously, they're going to win the entire thing. Am I right? Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> so, if you would, I'm going to introduce them the way that they normally would at contest. And then sometimes what happens is when they do a really good job, the audience will just leap up in a spontaneous standing ovation. So I just, I just want to put that in your head, tuck it away, think about it. You might want to use it. But for now, all right, like we're in contest. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Can we have the doors closed, please? Our next chorus is ready. From Rincon Beach, under the direction of Kelly Shepard. <laughs>
contest is in uh, Fresno in early October, and you're all invited. We would love <laughs> to have you in that audience. That would really be special. You know, we uh, um, we we. We love this, this hobby of ours. We love the singing. We love the competition. Uh, I mentioned we meet down in Ventura. We meet on Monday nights, and we're always looking for new singers. We've got a whole bunch of new guys that are joining the chorus. I want to kind of acknowledge that we've got uh, seven new guys that are joining the chorus in the last three, four, five months, learned all this music. They're all under the age of 30. Would you guys wave your hands, please? <laughs> out at UCSB and they've got a little pot of them and they keep coming and we love the enthusiasm that they have for this hobby as they discover this thing and uh, we just have a, a great time with them. A lot of things, one of the things we like to do is uh, we sing tags and I'll mention the fact that after the show, for those of you who want to come to a cast party, we have an afterglow is what we call it and it's going to be over at the, uh, uh, the Kenny Loggins Event Center which is just really down the block, one block and, and over, to the, over to the left the building right there. And so those of you who like the Afterglow, and I know who you are, uh, we, have, uh, we have tickets for you. It's $10 for the Afterglow. It's a fundraiser for the Christmas Unity program. So there'll be some food, there'll be some drink, there'll be uh, opportunity for some singing. But if any of you guys think you like this kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, come on over and sing with us for a little while at the Afterglow tonight. You'll have a great time with that. You know, we, um, we, we sing every Monday night, as I mentioned, and um, and after we sing, sometimes we knock off a little bit early and we go over to the local pizza parlor and maybe we have a, a frothy beverage or two. And of course, uh, um, that kind of action is not without its consequences. <laughs> She rises early in the morning. Blood upon him, wet him all over 
almost hate for it to come to an end. Uh, this is the fourth of uh, four shows that we've, uh, fourth of four shows that we've, that we've had, two in Moore Park and two up here. We really had a great time. You've been a wonderful audience and it's been great fun for us. We, um, um, we, we just, we just uh, can't tell you how much fun it is to sit up here and perform. So again, I'm, uh, the, the appeal that's out there, if any of you guys out there think this is your kind of stuff, please come see us. We, uh, we like to sing gospel songs. And so this uh, next uh, song is a medley of some of our favorite gospel songs. Yeah. 